So a common question I get is, can I export a Sibelius file into Logic? And the answer is yes, and I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily do it. So firstly, here is our Sibelius file. Um, one key thing I would note is make sure you spend a lot of time, uh, or at least a little bit of time, doing your dynamics because those are the one thing that translates really well into Logic. Other than that, uh, there's a there's a little catch and there's a couple of things we actually have to delete when we get into there because it literally takes all of the MIDI data and dumps it in there and sometimes that can be a bad thing other times not so much so we've got our score we now go to file export MIDI so we click on that don't need to click anything really except export uh, save it I'm just gonna call it blank orchestra MIDI And we'll save that. So then we'll go find that file and then we're going to right click on it and open with Logic Pro. And now here we have your Sibelius file now in Logic and you can see uh, a number of things have come through. Uh, we already have all the instrument names, the names are actually on the uh, tracks themselves as well as over here and Logic has already automatically signed you a load of instruments which is great if you don't have any of the samples you bought um, it's definitely better than Sibelius sounds and this this top one here you probably notice there's nothing on there it's just a piano even though uh, you know our piano is down here uh, the reason for that is for your tempo uh, the tempo comes on that top track uh, which we can see if we drop down here although yeah there's our tempo changes and that all comes on that MIDI track there so don't delete that because if we delete that we'll lose our tempo and if we look into some of the more staccato lines we'll see there as I said the velocity comes through really nicely uh, but the catch uh, especially if you're wanting to use maybe uh, sampled instruments that you've bought uh, like Spitfire Audio, Orchestral Tools or Cinematic Sounds uh, you need to delete a load of MIDI data that got dragged along with these samples and I'll show you where that is so let's drop out of that let's go let's start with our flute if I press A and look at all the automations and then go over here where it says track and make sure it says region and then click on the drop down we'll see all this rubbish here for a start the MIDI volume can be all over the place at the moment this one's on 0.9 if we actually look at the mixer you can see they're quite literally all over the place and we want them all to be zero really and sadly it's not as simple as going here and pressing zero we actually have to go in and delete all of this and so we've got to go through apps and, and that's including the panning as well if you're not using the um, logic instruments so we've got to delete that and then once those are deleted we can just go in and just go zero here and then just it's just one of those things it's a bugbear of mine especially when I uh, I create a score on Sibelius because I find I make more technical scores on Sibelius that you just got to go through and delete all this data except the one we do like which is the note velocity and you can see those changes there which which are lovely um, and then you can you know delete whatever's here and then add your own instruments if you want or use the ones that are already there and program them so it's as simple as that that's how you put a Sibelius score into Logic uh, if you have any questions or want any more videos tutorials about Logic Pro X or Sibelius uh, drop a comment down below and subscribe if you want more